so we're back in front of the MLO Bronco and we're getting ready to install a new bull bar and winch. And what do we go with, Pete? Yeah, we've got the ARV Summit Bar here. Um, we're installing this on our new Bronco. We went with this setup just to be able to get that winch up in front where we need to with the 2.7 liter engine. Mm -hmm. The 10-speed trans has a trans cooler down low that keeps us from mounting a winch in a hidden area like you might on the 2.3 mm -hmm. with uh, the manual or whatnot. Yeah. We really like the ARB bull bars. We're big fans of the finish. It's a wax impregnated black powder coat, so it's gonna last a nice long time and look nice and shiny along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and it also gives us the provision to fit a taller, more integrated winch with the cutaway up top. Yeah, I think one of the nice parts about the ARB Summit Bar is it just looks right on the front of the vehicle. The 2.7, you know, requires you to have that winch, you know, forward mounted because like you said on the 2.3s with that trans cooler not being there, you can have it a little bit more hidden. But I think this is kind of the tidiest package that allows you to get that winch mounted up front, but not look like it's just an add-on factory after the fact like the aftermarket, uh, you know, winch mount from Ford, mm -hmm. where it basically just like hooks on to the tow points yeah, on the front terrible. of that, that, that factory bumper. Mm -hmm. So I think this is gonna be a great option that'll have form, function, um, and added protection. We're also doing a come up winch. We're doing the 9.5 RSI. This is a uh, integrated setup here. So we have the control box on the top. We have a power kill for that control box. It is a wired remote and a wireless remote. We have a synthetic line, so we're keeping everything nice and safe when we're out on the trail. And the biggest selling point for the come-ups is the safety feature of the cone brake out on the outside here. We're keeping the heat from the braking system away from the drum, which that last wrap of synthetic line can actually get damaged. It can melt mm -hmm. if it gets hot enough, if you're using this enough, and we hope to get a whole lot of use out of this. Yeah. So the cone brake being out on the end makes it a little bit wider, but it definitely keeps that heat away and lets us get a ton more performance out of this winch. What do you say we get into the install, Pete? Yeah, let's get into it. We got some bumper prep to do and then we're gonna get this thing on the truck. All right, let's do it. So we're back in front of the MLO Bronco. We've got it up on the lift now and the front bumper removed. Now we can kind of access things and see why we couldn't do a hidden winch bumper, right Pete? Absolutely. Up front here, you're seeing the intercooler. You're also seeing the trans cooler because we have the 2.7 liter with the 10 speed mm -hmm. transmission. Uh, unfortunately, they located it here. I'm sure it gets great airflow. Um, however, it also eliminates our ability to install a hidden winch because it would go right here. Yeah, the 2.3 is you could mount it in this location. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if the, the, these frame horns would be on the 2.3 or they get lopped off, but, yep. um, but you know, that would mount that winch down low and, and you know, have a nice uh, look more of a slim fit, I guess, if you would, um, mm -hmm. you know, more compact on the front end yeah. um, than <clears throat> what we're going with with the 2.7, right? Absolutely. And again, we, we didn't want to take any risks moving it anywhere with the yeah. truck being so new, the 10 speed trans being kind of new to market. Yeah. We didn't want to play with any fire in terms of keeping that thing cool because it, it is an awesome transmission. Mm -hmm. um, so we went with the ARB bumper to, to get that winch out in front and give us that nice kind of integrated look. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got the uh, Ford Sasquatch bumper off um, and on the rack here so we can see the interior of it. And we can see that um, can't really fit a winch here, right, Pete? Yeah, I mean, it, this, this is a nice bumper for a stock bumper. It's, it's metal, it's got the nice tube on here as well. Recovery points. And Recovery everything. points, so, you know, pretty well thought out minus the winch itself. Um, we also had to pull out parking sensors and the uh, automatic braking sensor that's dead center up here that get relocated. A um, little bit more challenging than it might look from the outside of the bumper because there is an, a whole inner structure shell um, that we have to remove to gain access to the harness. So a little bit of work taking it apart, getting out what we need to migrate it over to the new ARB bumper. Yeah, I mean, it's a real shame. It is like a really nice look. And I think yeah. a lot of the customers who might have bought their Ford with this bumper on, expecting to be able to like throw a winch in it, are probably disappointed that they paid the extra yeah. dollars for the for this kind of bumper. Yeah, and couldn't, unfortunately couldn't that Ford Performance solution is just kind of like a piggyback that hangs on the thing like a shelf. So it just looks like a little yeah. bizarre. An afterthought. Yeah. Um, so 
that's where the ARV kind of shines, you know, fully integrating that winch, keeping it nice and tight mm -hmm. and accommodating all the technology that we're pulling out of the bumper with the sensors and whatnot that make it a nice truck to drive. So. All right, we're back in front of the MLO Ford Bronco with the new ARB Summit Bar added on. And Pete, I think it looks freaking awesome. Yeah, it's a lot more tidy and integrated than I would have thought, you know, with the kind of slab front end of the Bronco, but yeah. it really kind of brought it all together and packaged everything we wanted in there. So yeah, a lot of times the aftermarket bumpers with the winches for the Bronco really move things forward too much. And it almost looks like kind of like a cow catcher kind of deal. Yeah. Um, this sets it back a little bit but it has all the functionality that you'd want. I mean, it's really like how Ford should have designed their bumper. Yeah, less of an afterthought for sure. Going, uh, going and doing a walkthrough here, we have the summit bar first and foremost. We, we can see we have a bit more of that rolled pan feature Clean to it. Finish, yeah. We have a larger diameter tube and we have a kind of wax impregnated powder coat here, the integrated finish, so it's gonna last nice and long. Yeah. Um, you can see we've got good flare to bumper fitment here. This is gonna fit both the Sasquatch and the regular Bronco. Mm -hmm. That's why it's not exact, but I kind of like that the flare pops out a little bit yeah. more. Um, moving through, we have our marker light and turn signal integration here. So we're gonna stay legal. You can still get good visibility here, but we're gonna have some good extra visibility down mm -hmm. here. Obviously, we have our parking sensor provisions, which we've retained. Mm -hmm. um, we opted for a Baja Designs uh, squadron in amber here to go ahead and fill our void with the, uh, the fog light hole. Yeah, we wanted to tie it in with our, our uh, A-pillar mounted lights as well, so yeah. that was a good feature. Mm -hmm. um, we've got our buffers here, so we can actually push against something if we had to without really causing a powder coat issue, and yeah. these are replaceable. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously some big monster recovery points. That's something that's actually very rare for an ARB bumper. Um, when they put these, yeah. yeah, when they put these on a ARB bumper, they spend a ton of time engineering them to make sure they're safe because they know that's a, a big liability issue. So mm -hmm. happy that those are there. We have our egg crate grill here, which gives us awesome access to our come up winch. We can get right in here to our free spool lever. We can go ahead and plug in the winch um, with our corded remote, or we can hit the power button to go ahead and turn on for our wireless remote. Um, they give us another door on this side, so depending on the winch you have or the access you might need to bolt on bumper top lights, which we already yeah, that pulls, is nice. you don't pull the and grill. provisions for connectors to come through as well. Um, we have our forward-facing camera. Which was relocated from here. Originally is in this grill location here, and the ARB provides a nice fit kit to go ahead and, and put it in here if your Bronco has it. Um, we also have our kind of automatic braking and uh, radar cruise sensor that's uh, relocated. So again, all the technology that we, we removed from that OEM bumper that was steel that wouldn't allow for a winch, yeah. we're able to put into this ARB bumper that does allow for a winch. So that's very important when standard you're paying Haas, for a heavy, well. uh, a heavy option truck. Yep, we have standard Haas Fairlead, which is nice with this bumper. You don't need an offset Haas. Um, and our Factor 55 uh, Flatlink Expert that we have on there. Um, you know, apart from that, we have our under tray fittings in here, which do work with mm -hmm. the 37s. You know, sometimes with those under tray uh, panels on other bumpers may or be, you have to modify them to make them work with bigger tires, but not on this truck. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, all in just a killer, killer setup. So, and it, and it really adds a ton of protection. I mean, I think something that people don't really think about uh, with the Bronco is, you know, this is a really squared off front end. So if you like hit an animal, if you hit a deer, you're taking out the grill, but you're also taking out the hood. You're taking out intercoolers and things that are behind here that are very important and integral to how the motor is operating. So, I mean, you really want some protection that's gonna encompass this entire area. I'm sure these headlights are not cheap. And we know how hard it is to get parts for Ford yeah. and Broncos in general, yeah. which are unobtainium. So why not protect the investment and go with some real front end protection that you're gonna feel confident. It is 100% true. I mean, if you, if you hit this thing, 
you are not going to get parts for it. And it might even get totaled just because of the rental car fees that you're going to incur. So you might as well get one of these if you like your new rig yeah. and uh, ensure that you're going to have it for these crazy times. Yeah. So, but yeah, killer rig and we're, we're really excited to have uh, all the features here from ARB and, and put it to the test on the trail ride. All right, thanks for watching. If you're interested in an ARB Summit Bar like this one on the Ford Bronco, check out the description below with all the links to that awesome product. And be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Yeah, and if you're interested in more killer Bronco content, check out this video here.